And a state senator is now investigating the death of a South Bend baby. Carlin Yoder says he wants to know if the 11 month old's death could have been prevented. Yoder chairs the Department of Child Services Oversight Committee. WSBT's Kelly Stopsinski's digging deeper into this story as well. Kelly, Yoder says he has already called DCS about baby Micaiah's death. Jennifer, he says he wants to know what really happened, why a DCS case involving Micaiah's older sister, Alaya, from seven months ago was never closed, why someone reported the incident involving the little girl to the DCS hotline, a revamped hotline Yoder and others say is now more effective than ever. To all the mothers out there that, you know, are having challenges or feel like, you know, they're becoming overwhelmed. It's not a bad thing to get help. Martika Binion says she wishes the mother of her two cousins, Aliyah and Micaiah Crockett, would have asked for help. Investigators say Naisha Crockett admits she smothered, kicked, and threw her 11-month-old son, Micaiah. He died Monday. Just seven months earlier, police say Crockett strangled her 14-month-old daughter, Aliyah, with a scarf. She now has 20% brain capacity. Medics and doctors initially ruled that an accident, but investigators say Naisha lied. DCS says someone did call the abuse hotline the day Aliyah was rushed to the hospital. You have reached the Indiana Department of Child Services Child Abuse and Neglect Reporting Hotline. We don't know who made that call or why, but it is part of an uptick in suspected abuse and neglect reports. Take a look. These numbers show abuse reports in Indiana growing in the last three years. Closer to home, the numbers in St. Joseph County are too. In 2011, the local DCS office saw just over 2,000 reports of possible abuse or neglect. In 2012, that number rose to just over 5,000. Last year, nearly 7,000 reports. It's on track to grow even more this year. I think it's community awareness. I, we did a, I think DCS did a really good job about getting in the communities and putting out the, the hotline number. Prior to the hotline, we had 92 counties, we had 92 different phone numbers that you could call, and now there's one phone number that connects you to DCS. Indiana lawmakers overhauled DCS in 2012 after two high-profile deaths, including 10-year-old Tramel Sturgis, who was murdered by his father in South Bend. That DCS overhaul included a switch from one abuse hotline center in Indianapolis to five throughout the state. It also required trained family case managers with college degrees to take the calls. In the past, people who called the line may have talked to a clerk or a lawyer, not someone specifically trained for it. And going back to that hotline call involving baby mm -hmm. Aaliyah, you're working to get more information on that. That's right, including why the case involving that little girl is still open. It right. was never closed after February. I also sent a formal request for a recording of that February call to the hotline to the state today, but we probably won't get that because part of the DCS overhaul meant more restrictions on what information is available to the public. We heard the Tramel Sturgis hotline call. Right. We probably won't hear this one. A lot of questions to be answered for sure. Yes. Kelly, thanks so much. Uh -huh. If you suspect a child is a victim of sexual or physical abuse or neglect, the state wants you to call its hotline. That number is 1-800-800-5556. Anyone who calls can remain anonymous, but the state says it helps if you leave contact information in case there are follow-up questions.